Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the auto task web forms feature. So to get to this feature, what you need to do is click up on the auto task menu, admin features and settings, or actually uh, extensions and integrations, uh, well, they're the same place. Click up here. What you'll get is the auto task add-ons feature. And then you can see here is auto forms designer. So what the auto forms is going to allow you to do is to put a form onto your website that you can um, you can test uh, or you can gather customer information you can um, you know receive information from customers so it could be a contact us form or, or anything like that so if we click on new so let's say we're going to do exactly that we're going to create this as a contact us form then in here we just we, we choose the entity that we would like to use on the auto form you can see the company is already selected because in auto task when we create some new information um, you know uh, we have to put the company information in in order to obviously put in the contact or the, or the opportunity or any of those kinds of things so what we're going to do is we're going to create an auto form that's going to automatically gather the name of the customer it's going to create an opportunity for us it's obviously going to put the contact details against there and there's also going to assign it to do for somebody to go and do some work so we're going to gather all of this information um, let's just add note as well just for good luck and then what we can do in here is we can tell this to um, you know when it's successful so we can say you know when it's successful go to a website and I'm going to force it to go to my website which is sendalaconsulting.com of course you can preview it if you want to and then if there's an error or anything like that um, you know what what happens to those but I'm going to leave those out for now and we click on the fields button and here you can start to see all of the fields that we can actually put onto this auto form. So you can see that by default company here is selected. So this is giving us the ability for um, the, the company information to be gathered on the form. And you can see, uh, you know, this is displayed on auto form or is editable on auto form. So this button here is if we want to actually display this for the customer to see. And then we can choose whatever information we want to actually call it on the form as well. So you might put something like this. Please enter your company name or something to that effect. So we're not going to gather any of this other information. Phone number, um, I might just put something like phone number in here. And then if we keep coming down, you can see company type we have to select. It's a required field in, in Autotask, as is the um, account manager. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to just select who this particular person is. And at all these times, you can see I'm actually displaying this on the auto form as well. And I'm also making it editable so that they can actually type it in. So let's say, here we go, you know, company on stop. Now this is a required field, but I don't want this company to, um, I don't want this to be displayed on the, on the form, obviously, because I don't want this required field to be um, available for something that the company, uh, or that the person who's filling in this form has to fill in. So I can just kind of go no in there, but because it's a required field, it does have to have some information filled in. And you can see I'm not gonna display it on the auto form. Okay, I'm gonna keep coming down again, company note tag, I don't know what these mean. This is a, a demo um, account, so I'm just gonna leave all of these uh, unfilled in. Um, and I potentially want to have that person's telephone number as well. So if I go company telephone, um, actually it's probably, um, there's there's gonna be one up here. There we go, company phone, oh, I've put phone number on there. So, um, you know, I can just scroll down here and say, um, you know, all these are, are user-defined fields. So again, you can choose whether you actually show this information or not. Um, you know, company status, you might wanna put some stuff on there, whatever information you want. But now we're gonna gather first name and last name. And so I'm just gonna put, first name and I'm going to put the last name in here. So you can see by going through this, all I'm simply doing is filling in this information. One thing to note though is, um, is this bit here on, on kind of the opportunity information. So here you'll see, um, you know, opportunity owner, I'm going to make this, uh, you know, Pamela Pierce, for example, the stage of the opportunity, maybe we're going to call it new lead. And then we're going to call this um, you know, the opportunity status is, let's just call it active. And we're going to untick all of these from the auto form. Again, we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually create this opportunity. We're going to let this opportunity be, 
uh, be created directly within Autotask. So here again, we might say uh, new lead from website. And we're going to turn these off. And we just keep coming through this list. Uh, opportunity confirmed. Yes. Some of these are, are some of these fields you won't see on uh, on your uh, your system. So, like I said, this is a demo account. So I'm just going through these and making sure that um, I'm filling in some of these that are required fields. And all we're going to do is, my goodness, there's a lot of them. Um, okay, so this is for the to do. So here you can see the to do action type. Because I told it that I wanted it to do in the in the first form as well, it's now going to go ahead and it's going to say, "Okay, well, what kind of to do is this?" So I, I'm going to create a to do for somebody to go and email this customer, and then I'm of course going to assign the to do to myself as well. Okay, um, and again, I'm going to turn these off on the website. So what this is going to do in the background, those bits that I've turned off, you can see in here. You know, it's deciding whether it's it's going to display it on the auto form. Um, or in the case of this to do, it's it's going to say I want to create the to do, but I don't obviously want to display it on the auto form because I don't want my customer to be able to see that information and who I'm assigning all of that to. Okay, and then note action type in here is going to be email, and the note is going to be assigned. Let's just assign it to Pamela Pierce as well, and the note description might be something like um, contact prospect from. Uh, website or something to that effect okay and you're good to go so that is all the information that we want on there of course if there's any other information that you did want to capture like you wanted to put address on there you could simply just click that button and you can either change that or leave that whatever it is and that would gather their address information as well so you could have multiple of these forms to gather different bits and pieces of information and then if we click on notification what this is going to give us is who do we want to notify when this is actually um, submitted. So you might say, you know, well, what I want to do is I, I want to be notified, um, you know, when when this is actually created, and I'm going to go ahead and send it to somebody, whatever the case might be. And then all I'm going to do is generate a source, and here is my actual source of this um, this HTML source. So if I copy this and I click on the preview button, what you'll actually see happen is there is my preview. So this is exactly what's going to show up on the website. So it's going to give them, oh, I left the account manager field displayed. So I can now see, um, you know, I've left that displayed. Obviously, I don't want that information to be displayed or any of this note action type. So what we can do is we can say, okay, now that I understand that that's all been displayed, we can simply come back to the, to the fields information and we can come back in here and say, um, you know, account manager, um, and the company type, we don't want any of that to be displayed. We also don't want any of that note information to be displayed. So if I go back down to notes, wherever it's gone, I think it was right down the bottom here somewhere. Here we go. So I had all of these available, so I'm just gonna untick all of this. And then I'm simply gonna click, click back on source, preview. And you can see the information I'm now collecting is, you know, enter your company name, your phone number, your last name, your first name, and that's it, right? I'm, I'm not really needing to collect any more information. You'll also notice in this preview mode, there is no um, submit button. However, what you can do is if you copy to this format and you, you know, you drop it into a, um, into something along the lines like Dreamweaver or one of those tools that allows you to do this. Um, I think I've done this the wrong way around. It'll give you the ability to um, to see that. Sorry, I should have actually put it this side. Um, yeah, so all you wanna do is you wanna copy it down here. You can see I don't really use Dreamweaver that much. But yeah, what you wanna do is you wanna paste it in there and then it should actually show there. There we go. So now you can see it's actually showing the submit button as well. And if you're using a tool like Dreamweaver, you can actually come in here and start to manipulate things a little bit better, change your padding, change all the other stuff that you need um, or, or some other information. So I hope that's helped. Uh, and that's uh, that's how you create auto forms within Autotask. And before we uh, go any further, obviously you now need to click on save and close. And when you click on save and close, what you'll see 
is um, now you've got this contact us one that's been created. And I hope that's helped everybody.